Assalamu alaikum. This is Jahan Gir and you are watching Medical and Nursing Lectures. Today I am going to present some important MCQs of health assessment along with the originals. These MCQs are specifically designed for the students of generic BSM. So here the question number one. During the assessment of the eye, nurse assess the right eye of the patient. He assessed the patient accommodation of the eyes. The nurse noticed that the patient's right eye is not following the object. The term used for this disorder is called amblyopia, nystagmus, diplopia, and the last option is conjunctivitis. So here the correct option is amblyopia. Question number two. A patient wearing glasses came to the OPD for his eye checkup. The nurse should assist the patient in the following manner. Option A, test his vision with and without his corrective lenses. Option B, test his vision without glasses. Test his vision with glasses. And the last option is teach about the importance of vitamin A in the vision. The correct option is A. The nurse should test his vision with and without his corrective lenses. Being a nurse, you found multiple circular lesions with no central mass on the patient's skin. This kind of lesions are called annular lesion, discoid lesions, target lesions, both B and C. The correct option is annular lesions. Here in the picture, you can see the annular lesions are found like these in the skin. Question number four. A small fluid filled blister that's usually one centimeter or less in diameter. Option A vesicle. Option B macule. Option C papule. Option D as pustule. Here the correct option is vesicle. You can see here the many vesicles found on the neck. Question number five, solid raised lesions that usually less than one centimeter in diameter. Macule, papule, pustule, vesicle. Correct option is papule. Here you can see in the picture, these are the papule on the patient's face. An allergic reaction that appears suddenly as pink edematous papules or wheels, round elevations of the skin, itching is intense. The lesions may become large and contain vesicles. Option A is urticaria, option B papule, option C pustule, the last option is D benign cancer. So here option A is the correct one. This is the picture of urticaria. You can see the raised lesions. Dish is characterized by round red scaly lesions that are accompanied by intense itching. These lesions have slightly raised red borders consisting of tiny vesicles. Articaria, psoriasis, tinea corporis. The last option is scabies. Here the correct option is tinea corporis. You can see the borders of this kind of lesion. To detect any abnormality in the posterior structure of the eye, the nurse must have to arrange a device which is known as thalmoscope, otoscope, stethoscope, laryngoscope. Correct option is ophthalmoscope. The Snellen alphabet chart and the Snellen E chart are used to test distant vision and visual activity, visual field, near vision, accommodation of the both eyes. The correct option is option A, distance, vision, and major visual activity. To test the accommodation of the eyes, the nurse must have to place his fingers 10 inches away from the nose bridge, 6 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, or 20 inches. Here the correct option is 6 inches. Question number 11. When testing the accommodation of the patient's eyes, 
As the nurse will bring the object closer and closer, the patient's pupil should be Option A, constrict and dilate. Option B, constrict. Option C, dilate. And option D, no change. So here the correct option is constrict. Question number 12. The ophthalmoscope allows you to directly observe the eye's internal structures. Use the green positive numbers on the ophthalmoscope lens disc to focus on. Option A, near objects such as the patient's cornea and lens. Option B, distant objects such as retina. Option C, macula lutea. The last option is sclera. Here the correct option is option A. Question number 13. An elevated fluid fill lesion up to 1 cm in size is known as pustule, vesicle, fissure, or macule. Correct option is Question number 14. The most common cancer skin cancer found in the patient is squamous cell carcinoma, malignant melanoma, basal cell carcinoma, dysplastic nevus, or malignant melanoma. The correct option is basal cell carcinoma. Here you can see in the picture basal cell carcinoma. The angle between the nail bed and the point where the nail enters the skin is 180 degree, 160 degree, 170 degree or 190 degree. So here the correct option is 160 degrees. More than 180 degrees can be found in the cleft finger. Question number 16. Which part of the nose is the most common site for the nose bleed? Kissel beak area, external layers, internal layers, warmer bone. The correct option is Kissel beak area. Dash is the entire area seen by an eye when it looks at a center point. Visual field, visual activity, accommodation. The last option is refraction. The correct option is visual field. The clinic nurse is preparing to test the visual activity of client using a snell and chart. Which of the following identifies the accurate procedure for this visual activity test? Both eyes are assessed together, followed by the assessment of the right and then the left eye. The right eye is tested, followed by the left eye, and then both eyes are tested. The client is asked to stand at a distance of 40 feet from the chart and is asked to read the largest line on the chart. The last option is the client is asked to stand at a distance of 40 feet from the chart and to read the line that can be read 200 feet away by an individual with unimpaired vision. Here the correct option is option A. Both eyes are assessed together followed by the assessment of the right and then the left eye. Here is the rationale for that. Visual activity is assessed in one eye at a, home, at a time. And then in both eyes together with the client comfortably standing or sitting. The right eye is tested with the left eye covered. Then the left eye is tested with the right eye covered. Both eyes then are tested together. Visual activity is measured with or without corrective lenses and the client stands at a distance of 20 feet from the chart. A visual activity test is only one part of comprehensive ophthalmologic examination. The goal of the visual activity test is to determine clarity and sharpness of vision. Question number 19. The clinic nurse notes the following several eye examinations. The physician has documented a diagnosis of legal blindness in the client's chart. The nurse reviews the result of the Snellen chart test expecting to note which of the following. 20 by 20 vision, 20 by 40 vision, 20 by 60 vision, or 20 by 200 vision. So the correct option is option D, 20 by 200 feet vision. Rational for that question is legal blindness is defined as 20 by 200 or less with corrected vision. Glasses are contact lenses 
our visual acuity of less than 20 degrees of the visual field in the vitro eye. The WHO describe individuals with low vision as having a best corrected vision of 20 by 60 or worse and blind is best corrected vision worse than 20 by 400 whereas legal blindness is identified as 20 by 200 in the United States. The client's vision is tested with a Snellen chart. The result of the test are documented as 20 by 60. The nurse interprets this is Option A, the client can read at a distance of 60 feet what a client with normal vision can read at 20 feet. Option B, the client is legally blind. Option C, the client's vision is normal. The last option is the clients can read only at a distance of 20 feet what a client with normal vision can read at 60 feet. So here the last option is the correct one. Rational for Question number 20 is vision, that is 20 by 20 is normal, that is the client is able to read from 20 feet what a person with normal vision can read from 20 feet. A client with the visual of, with visual acuity of 20 by 60 only can read at a distance of 20 feet of what a person with normal vision can read at 60 feet. The results of visual acuity are classically reported using 20 by 20 or 6 by 6 meters when using meter for standard visions. The numerator describes the, the distance from the chart, typically 20 feet or 6 meters. The denominator describes the distance that an individual with normal vision, 20 by 20 vision, can read the same line on the chart. Question number 21. The nurse is developing a plan of care for the client scheduled for cataract surgery. The nurse documents which more appropriate nursing diagnosis and the plan of care. Self-care deficit, imbalanced nutrition, disturbed sensory perception, or anxiety. By the way, all of the options are the correct, but here the best option is option C, disturbed sensory perception. Question number 22. The client with glaucoma asks the nurse if complete vision will return. The most appropriate response is Option A. Although some vision has been lost and cannot be restored, a further loss may be prevented by adhering to the treatment plan. Your vision will return as soon as the medications begin to work. Your vision will never return to normal. Your vision loss is temporary and will return in about three to four weeks. Option A is the correct one. Question number 23. The client arrives in the emergency room with a penetrating eye injury from wood chips while cutting wood. The nurse assesses the eye and notes a piece of wood protruding from the eye. What is the initial nursing action? Remove the piece of wood using a sterile eye clamp. Apply an eye patch, perform visual activity tests, irrigate the eye with a sterile saline. Correct option is option C, perform visual activity tests. The nurse is caring for a client that is hearing impaired. Which of the following approaches will facilitate communication? Option A, speak fluently, speak loudly. Speak directly into the impaired ear. Option D, speak in a normal tone. The correct option is option D, speak in a normal tone. Because a client with hearing impaired cannot be here despite of speaking loudly in his A even. What is the most common cause of cataract? Congenital, aging, trauma, uncontrolled blood glucose level. The correct option is aging, followed by trauma and then uncontrolled blood glucose level. Which activity below is allowed after cataract surgery? Option A is bending, option B running, option C watching TV, option D is swimming. The correct option is option C watching TV. Question number 27. What is the color of normal tympanic membrane? Fairly white, fairly gray, 
yellow the last option is red the correct option is purely gray all are the causes of sensory neural hearing loss except old age cochlear otosclerosis loud noise rupture of tympanic membrane the correct option is a rupture of tympanic membrane throat infection causes ear infection through station tube blood spread nosocomial spread the last option is simultaneous infection the correct option is station tube because station tube lead from the ears to the throat so here a throat infection can be caused by inf ear infection through the station tube most common fracture bone of face as zygomatic bone nasal bone molar bone and temporal bone the correct option is nasal bone thank you for watching please like and subscribe the channel in case of any query ask me in the comment box